We've entered a realm, right? There's a universe, this is like a planet. This is one of the ways to do it. Turns out it's the best way, right? They're even claiming it's the only really good way. But once you've done that, think now what follows, right? We talked about what a country is and why we have them. It's rooted in this gift of speech that we have, right? We always have them. We're always going to have laws. And the laws are always built on some agreement. What we called yesterday the final cause of the nation. And the final cause of our nation makes the people strong. Whereas the final cause of an absolute monarchy or any strong monarchy makes the eldest son of the oldest and strongest family powerful. So if the sovereign is the strongest thing, then the sovereign is also the most dangerous thing. It's the thing that can get everything out of balance, get all power unto itself. So all men are created equal. Therefore, they may be governed only with their consent. Therefore, the majority will be sovereign. And therefore, the majority will be the most dangerous thing. Right that they be sovereign. Necessary that they be sovereign, but dangerous. So you got that. We're living on that planet. Right. We're not on Jupiter where the gods pick the sovereign. And we're not on Mars, where the warriors pick. That's actually better than I intended to be when I started. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and we're not on Venus, we're the loveliest one. <laughs> we're on Earth. And on Earth, human beings, all are created equal, each must consent, the majority will rule. So now, after that, the $64,000 question is, we know who the sovereign is. How's the sovereign going to operate in relation to the government? How are we going to set that up? And how do they answer that question? Where do they put the sovereign and the government, Christian? They put it as the voter of people who then become, becomes a republic. And that means, and this is the thing that Madison says in the 63rd Federalist, which we read yesterday, that Madison says is unique. Nobody ever thought of this one before. We're going to put the sovereign outside. And that means they can't get out of hand. Harder for them to get out. They're in control. Harder for them to become oppressive of others. The first check, uh, the Constitution is a set of checks and balances, which Madison argues is written in the nature of things. And if you think about it, we've been saying that two-year-olds or so start talking and dogs don't, right? And that's just a fact. That's how it is. Well, this is a fact how it is the same way. You know if you give somebody absolute power over you, and that person is any other living person I've ever met except my wife and my closest friends, they're likely to abuse that power, right? And of course, marriages and friendships operate on a small scale. Politics operates among people who don't know each other very well. And they're people. And they have needs. And they see the world through their own eyes and not through everybody's eyes. They're not divine beings, even if they're divine-like. You see? So keep them out. But let them vote. Now we're in an amazing situation. Because all the power is out here. And it can be delegated in a variety of ways and to a variety of people to do a variety of kinds of tasks, and the delegation can even happen at different times. Our powers are separated and equal.